Hello everybody, welcome to this channel again. Today I will show you how to download digital elevation model aspect slope, hill shade and uh, reference at uh, one hand time. So for our size, let's uh, go to open topography web and click here on uh, open topography home page. Then this uh, page will uh, pop up. So click here on data and under data you can find uh, uh, different uh, data here and uh, we have different uh, data source here open topography data source USGS data source uh, anyway uh, data source community data space source uh, global uh, and regional uh, data elevation uh, data and I will use this uh, global and uh, regional data elevation model for our uh, two desert size. And then go here and select the data set. There are several uh, data sets. Among several data sets, we'll use uh, uh, SRTM, Shutter Radar Topography Mission. Yeah, then zoom to the study area we will use uh, Djibouti as uh, as interest zone as a study zone so here click on and select the region and uh, select the study area yeah study area selected so you can see different data sets global ecosystem dynamics investigation data sets, a global digital elevation model, uh, open data source from Copernicus, uh, NASA from global basimetry and topography data, open data, global multi-resolutional topography, uh, shutter radar topography, we'll use this uh, shutter radar topography machine. And here we have two data. This one is uh, GL3 for uh, uh, this resolution which is 90s resolution I go back and I will use uh, this one which is uh, GL1 uh, shutter uh, radar topography mission uh, GL1 which is uh, subtle uh, resolution and uh, go down and here uh, the coordinates shall be selected data selected coordinate system manually select this one and uh, uh, validation is required for the coordinate and uh, estimated area and uh, the estimated area of our selection is about 59 1407 kilometers square and uh, here uh, we have different uh, output formats uh, so we have to select data output formats here uh, we may use grid, uh, geotiff, and the image, and for uh, ArcGIS process, uh, I, I prefer to use this one. And then we have to select the visualization type, uh, roughness is required, so we have to select aspects, slope, and uh, heat shade, and heat shade option. Uh, some heat shade options are given here so we can change like uh, vertical exaggeration can be changed so let's make it 10 and also output formats need to be specified whether it is TIFF or I which I prefer let's uh, click on uh, TIFF and uh, we may also uh, request make additional uh, Google Earth KMZ uh, outputs and then we have to uh, write the job title, let's say students, students, and uh, job description uh, for what purpose we use this uh, data, is average. And uh, we have to also specify an email. So the, once the process uh, finalized, the data uh, link will be sent to this email and then submit. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, you can see here, uh, 
the data is in process. Uh, first here, uh, ex uh, extracting the elevation model, that DM data for area of interest is a inquiry. And once uh, this is done, the next is raster visualization, which is generating hill shade image, uh, aspect, slope, and roughness. It may take uh, some time, but we have to be how uh, the ways uh, for it. Okay, the query is done now. Uh, you can see here sometimes the query may uh, take uh, time and uh, the result will uh, send to your email so you can change uh, your email and uh, the link where you download uh, the data is uh, sent to uh, the email and you can access through uh, those uh, link okay here we have uh, digital elevation uh, model result so you can download this one and also we can download uh, the visualization product which is uh, aspect slope hill shade and uh, roughness as uh, from this one and uh, we can also download uh, kmz for uh, visualization products for all uh, product which is hill shade slope uh, aspects uh, roughness uh, for uh, the time being, let us only download uh, the slope. So right click here, download. So the result will be uh, downloaded and uh, it may take time again based on uh, your uh, internet. Then let's go to the folder where the data is uh, downloaded. So here uh, we have uh, raster uh, digital elevation uh, model in uh, zip format and other uh, visualization product in zip format and here also we have uh, a KMZ product that can be uh, open using uh, Google Earth so let us uh, check this one uh, open this one This one is the slope map that's uh, downloaded using the KMZ uh, file. Okay, then uh, look uh, back to the download folder. Here we have uh, two documents, the elevation model. So we have to extract this data. Let's extract it, okay. And let's extract this one also. Extract. Then okay, so it's extracting. Good. Here we have uh, two data, which is uh, data elevation uh, map and uh, another uh, three map, which is uh, aspect, hill, shade, roughness, and uh, slope map. And uh, let's import those map to ArcGIS, the open ArcGIS, and uh, import those. Uh, data import yes okay and uh, let's import one more data which we downloaded the data elevation model and then yes And one more data is uh, left, which is a uh, shape file of uh, area of interest, which is digital, which is uh, Djibouti shape file. So we use uh, Djibouti uh, for our uh, two days exercise. Okay, uh, let's start with uh, the slope map. So let's start with the slope one. So this one is the slope map. And uh, let's change the color map ramp to this one. Yeah, this one is the slope map, and um, we have to extract or uh, the slope of the study area, slope of uh, the study area by masking to the area of interest, which is Djibouti, and we can also change the output location here. So we have to name also it slope then okay 
Yeah, now it is turning. Good. Now we can deselect all other uh, map and only visualize the slope map. And like here, let us change same property. So let's change the symbology in class five. Uh, use uh, five class and also let's format the label. Let's change this to two precision, then okay, then apply, then apply. So this one is, and we can also change this one as like this and like this. Now can go back again and change this color up, then apply, then apply. So this one is what? The slope map of the stereo. Slope map of the stereo, which is Djibouti. Uh, we can do the same for uh, all others. So we can do the same for uh, digital elevation model, for roughness, for hill shades, and uh, for uh, aspects. The same to slope, we have to prepare uh, aspect map using the same procedure so this one is aspect map and uh, this one is hill shape uh, map that's a uh, cropped to Djibouti and this one is a uh, roughness uh, map and uh, this one is digital elevation uh, model uh, map and uh, the next procedure is uh, preparing layouts uh, for uh, each map uh, they do uh, for a slope, so click here on layout view and uh, let's right click and zoom to layer so it is zoomed to the yeah, mm -hmm. uh, frame and uh, let's insert some uh, title so the title size uh, shall be changed to somewhere 26 let me export then okay then okay this one is what the title of uh, the map and uh, other thing that we have to insert the legend so we have to insert the legend of slope the next and uh, we have to change this one also let me it's one six then next 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 so this one is the legend and uh, we can right click here and change some property of uh, the legends like we can change uh, the size if we create uh, we can change the frame layouts uh, items so here we can change the symbols make it this one uh yeah 12 then okay then apply then okay now it is uh, visible it's good and uh, let's insert also nor zero set nor zero let's use this one property let increase this to 100 then okay then apply and this one is a nor zero oh, this one is nor zero okay this one is nor zero let's insert a skinner bar I use this one click on property and uh, they change to this one two kilometer I prefer to use one this one and simple km mix then use one force and okay then apply okay okay so this one is there yeah this one is scalar bar let us uh, add data frame data frame data frame then click on grid and new and use uh, this one which is a division map by meridian and uh, parallel next then use label only next yeah finish so let's apply and see what's look like apply 
So this invisible tag, this invisible. So let us click here property and change this one to 12, make it bold and apply. Okay, apply. Now it is visible and we can change the orientation of this label and orientation of this label just by clicking on property. So we can make it a vertical label for lefts and rights. Then okay, then apply. Then okay. Yeah, now it seems good. And then we follow the same procedure for uh, other uh, uh, map, like for aspect map, for heat sheet map, for roughness, and for a uh, digital elevation uh, model. And then what uh, we'll do, we will uh, export this uh, map. Let export file, export map. So we'll export the map to the folder that we are uh, using currently. And uh, that folder is exercise, then download. So let's create a new folder and let's name that folder peak. And let's write it here. Slow. And I change this one to reduce uh, this one. And we can change the resolution. Uh, See. Yeah, now we can go to the folder and uh, see the map. Now we can see the map. So it looks like this, which is interesting. And we do the same for all uh, map. Okay, then once we then for all uh, map, for example, for digital elevation model, roughness, heat shade, aspect, and uh, slope, we'll have uh, five map, which is uh, aspect map. Which look like this uh, digital elevation uh, model map, which is this one. Hill shade, which is interesting, look like this. Uh, roughness map, which look like this one. And uh, slope map, which look like this. Okay, thank you for uh, following me. Please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you are interested with uh, this uh, video. Thank you.